hope everyone I'm back again uh, so uh, someone asked me if, they, if I could put up an uh, instructional video of how to install uh, Cloudy's G3 ROM on the LG G2 uh, so uh, I thought I'd put one together uh, to give you a rough guide of how to do it but do bear in mind that this is for the uh, D802 international version of the G2 so uh, if you see D802 over the video then make sure that yours is an international version or you use the relevant uh, version and also do bear in mind that there is a risk associated with rooting and flashing so uh, I'm not liable for any damage that might occur from that uh, but if you follow the instructions uh, you shouldn't have any issues and uh, make sure to do an Android backup after you've rooted the device uh, so uh, starting off then we do need to uh, root the device uh, which allows you to uh, perform that uh, an Android backup and do everything else that you want to do uh, there's about uh, four main components of doing this you've got to root it uh, you've got to replace the uh, recovery and put a custom recovery there uh, you've got to install the KitKat uh, baseband and then finally flash the software uh, the Cloudy G3 software uh, but first I'm just showing you how to route it now uh, there is a, instructions based upon how to do it uh, so you do need to uh, have a quick check of that but basically you route it using this IO root software uh, which you can get from the URL that I'll leave on the video description uh, once you download that unpack it uh, you'll need to uh, click the uh, bat file to start it up uh, then it will ask you to make sure that you've got uh, all the things on in regards to developer options on your phone uh, and uh, I will also uh, show you how to get into the developer options in a moment or so as you can see we need to go into the settings uh, go to about phone software information then build number hit that a couple of times I'm already a developer on there so it's not relevant for me but this is what it, this is what you would do then you go into developer options and then uh, make sure the debu USB debugging is on uh, before you connect the cable up to the PC uh, also uh, I nearly forget here but do make sure that uh, install uh, so install apps from unknown sources is on I did uh, lose my way around the phone here uh, but uh, it's actually found within the security area of the phone so uh, make sure that unknown sources is uh, checked because you'll need that to install the software when you do connect it up to the PC it'll keep prompting for that and click OK whenever it does So uh, once you've clicked that, you then uh, follow the instructions and then you'll be rooted in no time. Once you are rooted, you can then set an Android backup up. So uh, download that from the Play Store and then uh, just start a quick backup. Uh, grant the permission for it to do it and it will do that. And uh, you may want to customize where it's saved to as well so you can quickly get to it if you need it now I'm showing you how to install the win projects custom recovery uh, you'll need to choose your particular variant of LG G2 mine is the D802 as you can see so make sure you choose the correct variant and then download it by clicking on it and putting it into a folder uh, then you can move that to your 
LDG2. I just put it at the root of it. Then on your back on your own LGG2, you uh, navigate to it using the file explorer. Uh, as you can see, it will come up there. It's auto rec. Click on it and then install. And then once that's installed, open it up, grant the permission for it to run. Make sure you're aware of the risk and then click yes. And it should be fine as long as it's the right one for your device. Once that's done, you'll then have a custom recovery and you can then start flashing stuff. So uh, you need to then go to uh, the thread on uh, XDA to get the KitKat baseband. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description to it directly. Uh, but uh, you need to select the correct one. For some reason I've selected the 801 but it should be the 802. Not sure what happened there but uh, mine is the 802 because it's international. And then download and put it uh, on your internal storage. Uh, for the actual G3 software you'll need to get that from uh, the URL as I said I'll leave that in the description as well so uh, download that from the official source to make sure that it's not tampered with or anything you can either get it from uh, uTorrent I think or just from the mirror Then once it's downloaded and you put it in the folder somewhere, you don't need to unzip it or anything. Just leave it as it is and uh, transfer it to uh, your phone, to the root of your phone. quite a big file so it might take some time to transfer but it will do eventually so then go back to your phone again you don't need to be plugged in to the USB uh, reboot into recovery If you're going into the correct recovery, then you should see Team Win come up like that. If you're not going into the correct one, then uh, you won't be able to install the ROM. So uh, go back and try installing the correct uh, recovery. Make sure you wipe uh, Dalvik Cache, System uh, Cache and Data as well. Swipe it to the right at the bottom to wipe that. I'm not going to because I don't need to. And then uh, once you've done that, you can then install the uh, baseband. Swipe to the right to flash it. And then uh, install the uh, 
cloud dg3 1.2 zip then follow the instructions when you're installing that and then it will reboot and uh, that's it you've got your lg g 2.5 so uh, I hope you found uh, this instruction video helpful. If you've got any questions, just leave me a comment and uh, subscribe, rate, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.